What's going on? So, uh, progress report. No real painting done yesterday at all. So, here we go. Uh, I'm going to use this session to actually answer a couple questions that were brought up in the comments of the video that I had. Uh, two questions. First one was my examples to NMM, which was brought up by Smack Talk Yo. And another one, uh, Dice Miniature Pink Eye had a question about uh, what varnishes do I use for my models. So we'll start off with the first one. So uh, right in front of you, there's three models. These are uh, Infinity models. And uh, just to give you an example of the non-metal metallic I was going for. In this case, I tried to do red glowing, well, red metallic sword blades, basically. And uh, I don't know, I didn't. I don't feel like I really captured it. I tried to do, uh, the issue with non-metal metal metallic is you really gotta do extreme blends and edges. And it all depends on how the light hits it, so it looks really good in one angle, but it looks like crap on another angle. So uh, these are the models that I have, I tried it, and as well as the power armor. Try to give these guys a little bit of a, I don't know, contrast and blending in the in the armor. But uh, like some things I did great, like the you know the missile launcher, the visors, I believe. But then the robe turned out really well, but the swords not so much, at least in my opinion. So. That's an example of my first attempt at non-metal metallic. So, next question was, what varnishes do I use? So here we go. When I I have a two varnish method, two-step method. First, I start off with the Krillin Crystal Clear. It's very, it's very much an aerosol can. You can get this at pretty much any hardware store. Uh, it's pretty cheap too. I think I got mine for like four or five bucks. Uh, so this, you really use it sparingly. Don't put a lot on it. You don't need a lot. So when I do spray on it, I do two passes. So spray, grab the can, shake it up, pass once, pass once. Then I turn the model around. Pass ones, pass ones, and that's it. That's all I do with this. And I'll, you know, 30 centimeters away, and it's a pretty quick pass. You don't stick on it because it will gump up your model if you kind of use it too, too close to it. Uh, and then you end up with this. This guy has only the first attempt. So there's a, you notice there's a shine around the, on the rim. The, the model is very glossy. Once we focus in, and, uh, but it, what happens is, is your gloss will give you a better coverage or a stronger protection. So the gloss is really there to, to give you the hard protection and the matte is there to kind of tune it down a bit. So that's an example of a gloss and this is an example of a gloss and then matte after. So I don't know if you can see it right there. Notice the bottom shine's gone it's like a, maybe a low sheen like a, a low satin but uh, it's it's very much matte I know it's hard to see in the video but it also took down the metallic a bit so the metals not as shiny but it's still metallic so for that step what I do is I use this it's Liquitex matte varnish and I go I spray this with the airbrush so if you really want to, you could brush this on. I don't really recommend it though because it, a friend of mine tried it, he didn't have good results. So with the airbrush, you just put a couple drops in, in the top and then you just go ahead and that'll do your model. So that's pretty much it. And uh, for the question of the day, uh, it was a Star Wars character. What Star Wars character in the upcoming movie would I be? Well, basically, being a child and growing up with the first three movies, Anything with a lightsaber. So, I would take even being a Sith, not even a Sith Lord, just like an apprentice Sith with a lightsaber that gets killed in like five seconds of the movie, that would just be cool. Just to be able to wield a lightsaber and have that, you know, experience to be on the big screen 
with the special effects and a lightsaber, you know, something that you grew up with as a child, watching Star Wars, and you're just like, oh my god, this is the coolest movie ever, back in the 80s, but that would be the answer to my question. So, that's it for my video, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.